Welcome back, you guys. Guys, this is gonna be the pre-final part of Luigi's Mansion HD. We've had a good run, and... <sighs> I'm gonna miss these. It was a lot of fun. More frustrating, but fun. And as I've said, I don't care about ranks. Um, somebody commented and asked me, is it really important to get ranks? And the answer is no. Because when people, see, when you do a three-star rank, and then you get a profile showing how much you get their three-star rank, people kind of look at this and go, wow, he's really good at this game. And I kind of want to keep that going. Now, I again, again, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I hate perfection. I don't mind playing badly, but... Um, I just want to clarify, there are games that are very grindy and, you know, like, like Tears of the Kingdom and, uh, stuff that are very collecty or whatever. I only care about weapons, upgrades, or health. That's it. Um, this game is very easy to, you know, 100% because all you need is gems and, and booze. So, um, I hope that answers your question. I hope people understand. Um, yeah, so with that being said, let's get this started. This is it, Luigi! It all comes down to this! Oh, Paz seems to be pointing towards that mysterious portal on the terrace! The periscope can't find the Dark Moon piece anywhere! There's no place left for it to be! And the same goes for King Boo! He must be beyond the portal! Still furious that you captured all the ghosts he sent through it! Must be, did you s Never mind. And last but not least, your brother Mario! King Boo must have taken him through the portal too! So, as I said, this is it! The moment of truth! Look, Luigi! Huh? If you, uh, Don't ever come back. Just know. <laughs> just know that I'm very proud of you, my boy! Very proud! <laughs> uh, Egad, are, are you feeling alright? Yes! <sighs> Pull yourself together, old man! <sighs> Just go! Go be a hero! <laughs> well, that was very dramatic. Professor Onion Head is breaking down from our very own eyes. And don't tell me it was the onions either, because I don't see any. I just smell it. Oh, the portal is very aggressive! Run for your lives! And here he goes. <laughs> I love these unnecessary sound effects. Huh? Hmm. Ooh. Huh. It's like it's, it's like anime, Jesus. I'm just gonna say for the sake of jokes here. Will I get a three star rank? Who knows? Oh, Okay, so let's talk about this boss. This boss right here is pathetic. And the goal to beat this boss is you gotta get the two armors to get to the carpet and then pull them under the rug at the same time. If you try to pull one, one is gonna revive the other. So make sure you pull two or three at the same time. Emphasis. Same time! Now their feet doesn't have to be on the rug, but as long as the axe touches the rug, you're solid. Look how quick that was! And it's best if you get the possessor to go left and right. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this possessor sucks! No pun intended. Because... The room is huge. Only because he's gonna be flying all over the place, so make sure to go left and right. 
because if he tries to run after you, he will send projectiles after you. And here it is, guys, which will foreshadow Luigi's dream. Wink, hint, nudge. You know, this would be a perfect boss if Luigi went giant and beat the boss. Hand to uh, Poltergeist combat. No, don't squish me! So, how do you beat this boss? Well, it's very hard. First, you gotta get the boss to move his feet on the carpet, basically tricking him into stepping on you. Nope. There you go. Oh, and if you try to pull one, it's not going to work. You gotta make sure both feet are touching the carpet. That's one. And that's two. Nope. And no. How in the world did a tiny plumber pull a rug from a giant armor? That is silly. And that is phase three. We are at what? The final boss? The, the final possessor, I mean? You see what I mean about how this boss, how the bosses in this game is stupid? I mean, it's easy. I like easy. I like, I like to take it the easy way, but this is silly. And look, I got cheap death. Well, cheap hit, actually. And voila, we did it. That was too easy. I'm not complaining. I'm just enjoying the failure. At the possessor's, um, doom to fail plan, uh, plan, I mean. So we got the, we got the dark moon piece. Oh yeah. And that was, what, seven minutes? Oh. Aww, I hit, uh, Egad called me before I hit the ground. Hello? You've done it, my boy! You've actually done it! The final Dark Moon piece! Mm -hmm. Wait a minute! In the last two mansions, when Egad calls you, the connection was bad because you're underground! But here in this dimension of no service, he calls you perfectly fine? How the hell does that work? It's not gonna be easy, but I'll try to bring you out of that horrible illusion! Come on, Pixelator! This one is crucial, baby! Don't fail me now! Okay, fine, whatever. But we finally did it. Thank goodness. I wonder what rank I'm gonna get. Do I get a one star rank or a poopy star rank? I cannot wait. And oh my goodness, I got a three star rank just the way it should be. Yay, I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> I, 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 that's just funny to me. Like, I got two star ranks on the worst bosses, and I get the three star rank just because the game felt sorry for me, I guess. But I don't care. I'm just, I'm just happy to be playing this game. Not so fast. Whoa, what the You're heck is going on? This is the only one time you get this cutscene, so enjoy it while you can. Kind of sad how we don't get different Good transitions going, like Luigi. that, you know? Huh? Oh, no! What have I done? He's gone! Psych! <laughs> 
<laughs> now, what do I have here? Why, if it isn't my old pal Luigi? Or is it baby Luigi? I can't tell the difference! KB, it's been over a decade! Luigi's taller, baby Luigi's small, he doesn't have a mustache! It's not that hard! Shush! You really need to get out of the shadows! Hey, remember that time you trapped me in a painting for all eternity? Good times! But guess what? I got out! And now I'm painting the town red! Yes! It was I who broke the Dark Moon! That much is obvious. This power-enhancing jewel crown of mine made it easy! And now that all the ghosts of Evershade Valley are under my control, it's time to take my rightful place as the supreme ruler of your world! You, that annoying scientist, and all of your friends will look great hanging on the wall of my throne room! <laughs> Let the games begin. <clears throat> well, here we go. The final stand. So when Floaty drops these balls, you gotta get King Boo. Um, underneath them so he will hit them. The ball will drop on his head. If you see that shadow popping up, make sure King Boo is underneath it. And then BOOM! And then we make him suffer. But, um, he will try to get out of the po he will try to, try to get out of being catched if you're- if he's jumping on the- if he's ground pounding. So if you see the little radius, um, bouncy waterbed effect thingy around you, just make sure you move away from it. Cause it'll break up your catch. So you wanna play hardball, don't you? Then let's play! Oh boy. <laughs> Down you go! Here I come! I'm only gonna I'm only gonna mention this, but anybody remember the reference I made? That's probably what's going on through people's heads when they're watching this. And boy did I nail it. Nailed it, I mean. But you know, when King Boo's doing this. He'll start to chase you, and you can just avoid them by going behind or in front of the, um, the drawers. But I gotta honestly say, guys, this is probably the only good fight in this game. Yeah, uh, just no possessed monsters, no gauntlet fights, no stupid, shooty, bad mechanics or anything, just... You and King Boo going at it. It's one less annoying gimmick to work off of. Surprise! <laughs> but, um... Next thing he'll try to do is that he'll try to electrocute you. But when you see the little tiles glow, just stay away from it. But, there's really not much else to say. It's a good fight. But it is amazing how, um, there are two bosses connected into one. But if you're trying to, if you're trying to redo the, um, the giant fight with the possessor ghost, it won't take you to King Boo right away. It'll it'll um take you back to Egad's lab like normally, and then there's gonna be some new dialogue uh, between. Which is why I say savor this moment. Thankfully, when that happens, he doesn't take you don't take damage. But there will be ice and sand to slow you down, sadly. 
Now, when you see the frogs, make sure to shoot them first before doing anything else, so that way you don't get hit. You wanna play tricks? Well, here is mine! Guys, I think King Boo hates Luigi. Down you go again! Yup, you could just feel the hate in the air. Start running! You know, I gotta... I know I've already said this in the first part, but it's just funny how the facials don't really match up at all. Um, like in the original. It's pretty minor, but you can see the difference if you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison. Which I noticed though, when uh, King Boo, like, after when King Boo went to the portal, Luigi kind of smiled a little bit, which in the 3DS version, he kind of showed a little bit of fear, but... It's just minor stuff, you know, just pointing stuff out. Um, now, when you're going up the stairs, there's gonna be fire and... Uh, blue fire and red fire. Just make sure to go to the red fire, not the blue one. I mean, you can go to the blue fire. Nothing bad will happen. It's just that um, he'll slide down, and it'll take a few seconds before you can actually get back up again. So there's a little bit of delay. No more tricks. Yeah. So one is gonna be. Um, Three, so just stand on the one I'm standing in. Everything is gonna be lit except one. When those are lit, you know, lightning. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Mario can't save you now. It's just you and me. <laughs> yeah, there is no way to avoid that. It's a shame that Luigi can't use his um, floating jump abilities to um, get over that because that would have been a that would have been a breeze. You know, I'm honestly surprised that the ball did not break the glass. The ice, I mean. I can just see it, like, breaking the ice and then slowing down when it goes into the sand. See? Because I didn't- I didn't go near the- the- the watery effect. I'm fine. That rotation on the pipe was weird. You we... can't keep me in this thing forever! Oh, yes we can! Until the sequel comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, we did it! We beat King Boo! That's right, you dance. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's back to normal, thank goodness. Oh no! It's my lazy good for nothing brother, Mario! Mario! I did it! Wake up! Mario, wake up! He's not waking up. Luigi! You silly buffoon! Use the dark light and. Do I have to spell it out for you? Save your brother! Oh, I get it! You young whippersnapper! Hmm. Nope! Nice try! Still isn't gonna work! Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I've come prepared! These sunglasses are dark light proof and flash proof! Huh, oh, let's switch over here. Luigi! Luigi, what are you doing? Your brother is that way! I know! I'm just kinda walking around for a little bit. Luigi! Go save your brother! I know, I'm going to. I'm just delaying for, for right now. Oh, look at the sky. It's beautiful. Luigi, your brother! Go save him! I will, I will. Just give me a moment. Ha! Huh, nice. Oh. Oh, you wanna come out? Oh, you wanna come out? Okay, okay. You wanna, you wanna come out? Ha! Huh, oh, major luck. You wanna come out, Mario? Wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Mario. Come on. Oh, I'm no, gonna get- No, not today. No, I'm gonna okay, kill you! Time for real. 
Do I take you? <laughs> oh, I'm so mean. Wow! You can feel the brotherly love in the air! Yeah! What? Mario? Oh. <laughs> ah, Luigi, you saved Mario. I did it. Way to go. Oh. Number one. And still to this very day is my favorite moment in Luigi's Mansion history. Mario and Luigi are talking to each other. None of that stupid gibberish thing they've been doing in their games. Just full sentences. The way it should have been. But you know Nintendo, they want to make their characters with or without silent or with or without personality. It's a shame. But I will say, I really do like the Dark Moon concept, you know, the moon is just its own thing where it, for some reason, makes the ghost sane? But, who the hell cares? I mean, it's still a good game. Uh, kinda. I still enjoy it. Wait till I get my hands on Luigi! Huh? What? Where am I? I free! Oh, come here, guys! I like her! Oh, camera! Huh? What? <laughs> I'm cold! Help! Help! He tried to eat me! The brute! Let go! Be a big brute! Behold! My remote control! I can now release a ghost! And presto! Hey, check it out! I can smell a fresh haunted air! We're free! Woohoo! Yeah huh? Woo huh? <laughs> hey, you're it! What? Let's go for a run! <laughs> oh, hell, the onion scientist! Hey! By the way, you still owe us money! I did it. An adventure all on my own, without a help from my lazy good-for-nothing brother Mario. And now I can finally take the nap I deserve. Ah, who are you? Oh, it's you! Woof! Luigi! You gotta adopt me! Okay. Ah. Wait a minute! You can talk! Man, what a ride. I'm gonna give my thoughts about this game. Brace yourselves. When this game came out for the Poo Poo Platter, I was excited. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this game after playing the first one. When I did, I fell in love with it. The story, gameplay, and everything. It was one of those games I wanted to do for the LP while I was playing... Ugh, Majora's Mask. When I did, people enjoyed it. The voices were raw, and I didn't like how I made the characters sound like Egad and King Boo. I was still experimenting. By the time the parts go by, it kickstarted the community. I've met people who enjoyed the series, and sort of what made the channel to what it is today. And I want to thank all of you for that. Now the gameplay was fun, and I had a blast making fun of Egad, and my King Boo voice got better. 
a little too better. I guess the YouTube search King Boo Dub went to number one. Solid. Like Smithy, Warbin, Yankerman, Jensen. The final part with King Boo sort of blew up and I wasn't expecting that many views. Oh boy. Okay, time to rip the bandit off. Look, I loved this game when it was on the 3DS, but coming back to this game on the Switch... Uh, I hate to say this, but I, uh, it was not needed. Like I said before, we could have had an HD version with untouchable models, but with a few changes that would make the gameplay better. That's all I'm saying. And for $60... What did you expect? I bought the game, I knew it was coming, so you didn't have to. Well, most of you did, but you know what I mean. I mean, from the long intro to EGAD calling you too many times, and the mission style, and the bosses... We're all bad. Nobody likes long, boring, forced tutorials. And I strongly speak for everybody when I say, they need to be optional. That's it. I can't do long cutscenes, and as I've said before, the bosses... were not good. The spider boss was far too puzzly, and it was the first boss. The stairs was too short, the third one felt like survival, and the last two... Need I say more? Each of those possessor ghosts came out and you, what, catch them with just one meter? Then they fly back to their possess things, then you catch them twice? Like, it doesn't feel like a fight. And me and my friend talked about this when it was on the 3DS, and honestly, he was right. I mean, they're not the worst, but I expected an actual fight, you know? And the music is much better than the last one. I mean, I felt like it found his right footing. Like if it was done by Squidward. Lot of clarinet this game has. Booming? and scarier. I felt like we could have explored the whole mansion moving from one mission to the other without EGAD booting you in and out in the mansion so many times. But that's just me. Funny how a game can change your mind as you grow, huh? I still would play this game over the first one hands down, so... <sighs> I want to thank you all for watching this series and be part of the Luigi's Mansion community. I hope we can continue to grow, and you can do so by subscribing to this channel. After this episode is gonna be a bonus, and with that said, this is my final Let's Play. Thought of explaining why, but I'm not ready to talk about it. Till the next part, I bring this series to a close, and I hope all of you have a good day.